I'm here with Scott Drennan Bell and we're standing in front of Bell's Nexus. Scott, it's been quite the journey. Two years ago we were talking at Heli Expo about the FCX 001. What, what's got us to this part? <laughs> well, that was a great time back then and if, um, if we remember back to the FCX 1, it was meant as a three-dimensional technology roadmap for yeah. Bell. So I think when we talked about high-speed, long-range VTOL, advanced um, propulsion and anti-torque systems, as well as autonomy, we could see all of that now come to life in the Nexus as a vehicle that we plan to take to a commercial program, to certification, and out to our customers. So the journey's been wonderful, and, it, and FCX1 you know, got us going, looking at those strategic technologies, and, and here we are putting them to use. So what are some of the kind of key capabilities that are behind us? So this is a hybrid electric distributed propulsion system on the, on the Nexus. And it, we chose hybrid electric to make sure we could find the right path towards all electric and wait for the batteries to get a little more capable and also to give our customers a lot more range. We have a targeted range of 150 miles at a cruise speed of 150 miles an hour. So we're really excited to not only cover those shorter range missions of the urban air taxis, but also some longer range missions that might be able to reach out in intercity rather than just intracity. Um, we've got our ducks on board. I think that's another key differentiator of Bell's approach. And what the ducks are doing for us is enhancing power in vertical takeoff and landing mode. They're great for noise. They've really changed the loudness level, the tonality of the noise, and the directionality of the noise as well. And the best that's happened um, in CES and both at HAI it's just so approachable this way. No one sees the open rotors, the new customer set that we're trying to address that's a little bit different than the B2B and familiar uh, you know, VIP folks that, with um, VTOL um, really found that encouraging. It's a, it's a great safety signal to them that they can comfortably approach the vehicle and fly with um, those, those ducks uh, you know, holding them up. So it's exciting, it's innovative, but are there any challenges that you're wary of, conscious of, that you're gonna to have to work on perhaps? Sure, yeah, always always challenges, and that's uh, why I love doing this business and my engineers as well. Um, we talked a little bit about the technology. Inside of that, there's weight challenges because we have a new propulsion system that's not as power dense as traditional. Uh, we're using a different distributed rotor system that uh, is not as efficient as a big rotor, uh, but it serves the purposes that we talked about before, so those are there. We also talk about operational certification and manufacturing frameworks that lead to their own challenges so how do we manage the air traffic in the uh, airspace of the future and we're looking at that problem with some really interesting partners who, who might be able to create smaller airspaces that integrate with the larger airspace um, certification it's always out there, but we're, we've had a great couple years interfacing with the FAA, EASA, Transport Canada, even some of the agencies over in Japan about what this vehicle is, what it'll mean for us to partner together uh, instead of just sitting back, not talking to each other, and then discovering we've got lots of issues together. So that's been great. And then on the manufacturing side, as you see, we're used to big hubs, complex hubs, we're used to mechanical transmissions and engine installations. On this vehicle, we have an engine installation still, but the transmission's not there anymore and the large complex hubs aren't there anymore. So we have to kind of pivot and be able to manufacture those items too, either with our great partners like Safran and EPS and Moog and those guys. Um, but also internally at Bell, how do we be a good integrator with new technology? And then of course when the, um, the batteries take over for the prime uh, energy source, we'll have to know how to deal with that too, and that changes the manufacturing line. So a lot going on, but are you able to share any of the key milestones, short-term goals that could happen this year? Sure. Um, so uh, I'll go. I'll go kind of right to left with you. So middle of the 2020s, we're thinking we're going to have a certified vehicle that's operational and can serve the customers. Some great recent goals that we just hit is we finished our full-scale, full-power wind tunnel testing of the duct up in Canada at the NRC facility. We're in um, the continuing our wind tunnel testing with our eighth-scale aircraft model, also powered. So we're looking forward to that closing up, and we're starting to build parts. So you know that's a uh, a lot of great milestones for uh, this year and the coming years. Thanks a lot, Scott. Well, there you have it, Bell Nexus. For more information and news stories, please visit our website, shepherdmedia.com.